Hello guys, I'd like to welcome you to part 9 of this sculpting project. I'm making a tiger's face here. This is a time-lapse demonstration. I'm going to be doing the painting in this video using an airbrush for the first time. But this is actually going to be a two-part video. I'm just doing the, the main color and in the second video I'll be doing the tiger stripes. But I'd like to show you how I did this in time-lapse in this video. I do hope you enjoy it. Before we get started, I'd like to show you how it looked right after it came out of the oven. This is um, pretty much, there was no problems at all, no cracking. Uh, I did go over most of the hair in the last minute before I baked it and put extra deep detail into it. I think it really helped it a lot. To get that debris out from all that scratching, I'm just using a wire brush. This is like homemade wire brush. Um, I'm going to just firmly press in the same direction as all the hair I scratch on uh, just try to scratch all those pieces out I use my fingernail the end of a stylus tip whatever it took to get you know some of the bigger pieces out I actually had to scrape a booger out of its nose how ironic is that and I'm sanding it but I'm only using thousand grit so that's not gonna really change the shape of the nose it's just gonna make it smoother and better looking for when the paint goes on it Okay, for this painting part, there's a few things I wanted to mention. Uh, I'm trying to reduce my own paint. Basically, I'm doing a 50-50 mixture of acrylic paint and water. I didn't read up very, very much about it, but I don't know, it seemed pretty logical to me. But I'm using old paint. I have a ton of acrylic paint, but it's old paint. And um, between it being old paint and perhaps the way I reduced it, it got clogged a lot. And you'll see me spraying off to the side a lot here when I start using other colors. And I think it would have been a little bit better for me if I had went and got me some pre-mixed colors, which I'm, I'll, I'm definitely going to do. But I, I didn't have orange. Uh, the one color I should have had, I didn't check. I didn't think to check and see if I had it. So I basically mixed up my own colors. The first color, I mixed a lot of white into it with a little bit of yellow and red to give me this color to offset some of that white. And then I just basically started adding yellow and red to give me that orange look. And then the later colors is just yellow and red with no white. But I know this looks a little different it's very saturated and very bright but I love bright vibrant art so I'm gonna keep it I like the color I really don't want to repaint it or anything but the stripes are left to you know be de decided and I was I was thinking they could be black they could be white they could be black trimmed in white white trimmed in black they could be standard they could be tribal maybe something symmetrical uh, because right now I mean the tiger already looks you know unique diverse so why not you know continue on that or I could just you know try to do the regular stripes from look I'm really curious what you guys think about that doing a lot of trying to fix up it was really dark the way that paint came out and I actually spray on another layer of paint later on uh, doing this eye, painting the eyeball, I use a sharp dentist pick for stuff like this because you can, I don't know, it's weird, you, you touch the dentist pick to it and then it'll like spill to it and then you can control how the paint flows on. I don't know if that makes sense or whatever. But here I am adding a little bit of a lighter color because it's really, really dark. Then I trimmed it in black and now I'm cutting the eye free and by the way taxidermy eyes work perfectly fine with polymer clay um, from what I can tell I mean there was no problems at all guys I really appreciate you for checking this out it means a lot um, like I said in the next video I'll be doing the stripes and I'm really looking forward to hearing what y'all have to say about that and 
this has been a really fun project. We are almost done with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. You're all awesome. I'll see you here again soon.